Okay, in this uh, setup, what we're going to be doing is doing a center of mass um, for an irregular shape. So what do I need in order to do uh, those things? Well, to start off, I need an irregular shape. So what I've done is just cut out a bit of cardboard. Um, cardboard's pretty good, um, but it, you, want it, you want to make it uh, really irregular. By making it irregular, the result is that um, it's very difficult to find that center of mass just by drawing some straight lines. So to help me with that, I've also got a board which I put against our, um, our whiteboard. This allows me to pin um, my regular shape onto it. I'm also going to set up a, a little plumb line. So the plumb line, I've just got a, an old bolt here which I found. I'm going to take a piece of string, tie that piece of string to my plumb line, to my bolt. And basically, I've just got enough force here so it's just going to hang straight down. So this is basically going to be my guide with respect to um, gravity. Gravity is going to be grabbing hold of my bolt and literally it's going to be holding it in a straight line. Finally, all I need is a pin. I'm just going to pin. That's going to allow me to pin the um, center of the irregular shape onto my board. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, irregular shape and I'm, I'm going to put my pin uh, I don't know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter where you put it. But I'm going to put it, find a spot, and I'm going to put it in, and I'm going to make you know, a decent amount of a hole. Okay, what that allows me to do is to get, whoops, got away with me. It allows me to basically pivot my, uh, my regular shape. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take my regular shape, I'm going to place it onto the board just enough so it swings happily, okay? So you can see there, it swings nice and happily. Now what I'm then gonna do is take my plumb line, just gonna make a wee loop in it. Helps if you're in the scouts for this, then at least you can make a decent knot. But there you go. So I'm gonna place my plumb line onto my onto my pin. Now by placing it onto my pin, the result is that I've now got a nice straight line. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to grab a pin. Here we go, got my pin. And I'm going to draw a line which is going to go straight down from the pin all the way down following the line. Okay, so roughly there's my, there's my line which basically makes up my, my, um, my plumb line. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing, I'm gonna find another point. Okay, so I find another point, uh, it doesn't matter where, I'm gonna stick it in there, make sure it spins happily, we'll keep the mass away, and I'm gonna stick it back on my board. Okay, now I'll just hold it there, so let gravity do its work, and there's my, there's my line. So I take my pen again. Run my pen down where the line is. Do another one. Let's find a, an odd shape in the corner there. Okay. Ow. Be careful. Make sure it spins happily. Yep, got enough of a loop there. Stick it back on the board. Make sure it spins. So don't, don't push your pin in too much. Okay, put it down. Try and let that spin happily. And basically, what we'll find is when we put our line in, it goes right through the center. Which means now, I'll do one more just for good luck. I want to try and get it in that position there. So let's see if we can get a, a point up there, which allows us to put our next line in. We happy there? What do you think? Yep, let's put it in. And you can see there's our, there's our pivot point. Now, we can check this. Basically, if I take my, my pin out, put it all together, what I should then be able to do is if I put my pin in that center point and then spin, it should spin equally. Um, if it doesn't spin equally, 
then the result is then the centre of mass is slightly out. Okay, so here we go. Stick it back in, get a nice hole, and it should spin quite evenly as it moves around. Okay, it's a very crude um, diagram, but basically it gives you an opportunity to work out centre of mass using a very, very simple con contraction. And you'll notice that using my irregular shape, all the lines met up, and they met up at the point where all the mass converges, which is basically our centre of mass. Okay, I hope that was good. I hope you found that useful. And uh, I'd like to see you join me again, and uh, we'll check out some more physics concepts. Thanks for watching.